Welcome to Morning Prayer and Worship. I'm so glad that you're here today. This is the second Friday in the season of Easter in the church calendar. Marking time with the rhythm of God's story. If you have a prayer request, as always, you can go to benwardmusic.com slash prayer request. It'd be our honor and joy to pray for you and with you. And if this podcast has become part of your regular rhythm, your daily rhythm, would you consider becoming a monthly supporter? We need you, and we thank you. Everybody's telling me what I need to do, what I gotta let go of, and what I should hold on to. Bad advice with good intentions The answer is still the thing I'm missing Everybody's telling me what I need to do Everybody's telling me where I need to go When to pack my bags and when to just go home I tried to put on love, tried to find my way Keep telling me it's gonna be okay But everybody's telling me where I need to go I need to hear your voice Something like magic that cuts to the static and all the noise It could be a still small whispered song crash of thunder that carries on everyone's talking and no one is telling me the truth so settle me down quiet or loud i want to hear you everybody's telling me what i need to say Try to get the words right, tongue tied, time slipping away. All this pressure to please, to be well spoken. Sometimes all I feel is broken. Everybody's telling me what I need to say. I need to hear your voice. Something like magic that cuts through the static all the noise it could be a still small whispered song a crash of thunder that carries on everyone's talking and no one is telling me the truth settle me down quiet or loud i want to hear you See the way you walk in it, see the path come into view. Hear the song and sing it, echo the good news. Oh, see the way you walk in it, see the path come into view. Hear the song and sing it, echo the good news. I need to hear. Your voice Something like magic That cuts through the static And all the noise It could be a still Small whispered song A crash of thunder That carries on Everyone's talking And no one is telling me the truth Settle me down Quiet or loud I want to hear you I need to hear your voice Something like magic that cuts through the static and all the noise It could be a still small whisper song A crash of thunder that carries on Everyone's talking and no one is telling me the truth Settle me down Quiet or loud I want to hear you
Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. I need to hear your voice Something like magic that cuts through the static and all the noise It could be a still small whispered song A crash of thunder that carries on Everyone's talking and no one is telling me the truth Settle me down Quiet or loud, I need to hear you. Thank you, Lord. We need to hear your voice today. Would we hear your voice even now, God, in this season of Easter, this season of new life and resurrection? Thank you, Lord. You are making all things new. Psalm 16. Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, my good above all other. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble among the people. But those who run after other gods shall have their troubles multiplied. Their libations of blood I will not offer, nor take the names of their gods upon my lips. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. My heart, therefore, is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your Holy One see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 17 Hear my plea of innocence, O Lord. Give heed to my cry. Listen to my prayer, which does not come from lying lips. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes be fixed on justice. Weigh my heart, summon me by night. Melt me down, you will find no impurity in me. I give no offense with my mouth as others do. I have heeded the words of your lips. My footsteps hold fast to the ways of your law. In your paths my feet shall not stumble. I call upon you, O God, for you will answer me. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Show me your marvelous loving kindness, O Savior of those who take refuge at your right hand from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings from the wicked who assault me from my deadly enemies who surround me. They have closed their heart to pity and their mouth speaks proud things. They press me hard. Now they surround me, watching how they may cast me to the ground. Like a lion greedy for its prey and like a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, confront them and bring them down. Deliver me from the wicked by your sword. Deliver me, O Lord, by your hand from those whose portion in life is this world, whose bellies you fill with your treasure, who are well supplied with children and leave their wealth to their little ones. But at my vindication, I shall see your face. When I awake, I shall be satisfied, beholding your likeness. I'm satisfied when I see your face, when I 
see your face Oh, you satisfy Oh, you satisfy When I see your face, Lord Glory to the Father And to the Son and to the Holy Spirit As it was in the beginning Is now And will be forever Amen The second Friday in Easter Our Gospel reading is from the Gospel of John 16, 1-15 Jesus said to his disciples, I have said these things to you to keep you from stumbling. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, an hour is coming when those who kill you will think that by doing so, they are offering worship to God. And they will do this because they have not known the Father or me. But I have said these things to you so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you about them. I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you, but now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you ask me where are you going, but because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment, about sin because they do not believe in me, about righteousness because I am going to the Father and you will see me no longer, about judgment because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth For he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God, thanks be to God, amen, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our collect of the day, the prayer we pray together collectively this second Friday in the season of Easter in the church calendar. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, One God, forever and ever. Amen.
can lead us in a time of guided prayer. I'll give prompts, continue to play. Pray specifically and by name for those in your life. Let's begin with our own hearts, our joys, thanksgivings, trials, worries, fears, frustrations. Lay it all before Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. of our faith. Let's pray for our families now, immediate family, extended family, whatever that means in your life today. Lift them up. of our faith friends, acquaintances, co-workers fellow students whoever the Lord lays on your heart lift them up now of our faith. I pray for your enemy. Bless the one that curses you. Jesus commands us to pray for our enemies. Bless them. You are the first and the last. The author, the finisher of our faith. And I need to hear your voice Something like magic cuts through the static and all the noise It could be a still small whispered song A crash of thunder that carries on Everyone's talking, no one is telling me the truth Settle me down Quiet or loud, I won't hear you. Now by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. He is the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Morning Prayer and Worship is a production of Steady Stream Ministries. Please consider becoming a monthly supporter. BenWarmusic.com slash donate. Bye-bye.